Welcome to the 13 inch MacBook Air Take Apart Guide. First you'll need to remove the 10 penelope screws from the bottom pan. and then firmly pull the bottom pan up to remove it. Next you will want to disconnect the battery. Now to take out the SSD card, remove the mounting screw. It is a Torx 5 screw. And then use your nylon spudger tool to disconnect the Wi-Fi antennas from the airport card. Then remove the Penelope 5 screw holding down the airport card. And then lift the card up and out. Next use your nylon spudger tool to disconnect the IO flex cable from the logic board and also the IO board. And then disconnect the IO power cable from the logic board. and then use your nylon spudger tool to disconnect all the other cables from the logic board. and then remove the three Torx 5 screws from the fan assembly. And since the fan assembly's cable has already been disconnected, the fan can be removed. Now remove all the other Torx 5 screws from the logic board. Once all the screws are out, the logic board can be removed. Next, using your nylon spudger tool, disconnect all the cables from the I.O. board. and then remove the Torx 5 screw and the I.O. board can be removed. To take out the battery, remove the five Torx 5 screws from the battery assembly. and then the battery can be lifted up and out. With the battery removed, you can then use your nylon spudger tool to pry out the speaker assemblies.
Next, unplug and remove the IPD flex cable. And then to take out the trackpad, you will need to remove these six Phillips screws. Now the trackpad is loose, but the cable is still connected. You will need to angle the trackpad in such a way so that you can lift the cable lock and disconnect the cable. Now to remove the display, you will need to have the screen in the open position and hanging off the edge of your desk. Now remove the three Torx 8 screws from each hinge. Now lift up on the Wi-Fi antennas to loosen them from the casing and then lift the display up and out.